Have you ever wanted to build an app in under five minutes and wish you knew how? Well, Power Apps is the answer. And this, next, this session, we're going to show you how. So hang on for a second and we'll go deeper into Power Apps and how it can help you. Power Apps is a great tool that enables business users and, and power users to build business-centric applications very, very quickly. In this series, all the month of September, we'll be doing a video a day starting on Tuesday where we build pieces of applications over the month. If you have any ideas on how you want, uh, what do you want us to build and what kind of challenges you want us to solve, please add those to the comments below. But we'll be uh, looking for your feedback on, on how we can build a, a better app and what do you want to solve in that application also. So in this demo though, we're gonna focus on what Power Apps really is and what it can do for your company and also you know, how we build our first application. So what is Power Apps? Well, Power Apps is a Microsoft tool. It's part of the Power family with Power BI, Microsoft Flow, as well as Power Apps, of course. It builds web-based applications that can be seen either through a native application, on a web page, through things like SharePoint, as well as things like Dynamics as well. So you can install a native phone application called Power Apps, and inside that application, you can choose your application and run those internal apps. It is definitely meant for internal usage. So it's a replacement for things like internal like onboarding applications, or you might have ones for task management, or. Uh, taking pictures of a, of a scene, maybe, uh, or an inspection. All those things can be done through Power Apps. It is not meant for external users. It is not a replacement for things like .NET, where you're building these massive applications that have all this business logic. It does support business logic, and it does have a lot of extensibility, but it's not, it is uh, not going to have the same kind of extensibility as things like, uh, like .NET. So let's take a look at what, what this can do for us. So on my screen right now, I've went ahead and signed into the Power Apps website, powerapps.com. Once I sign in, uh, for the first quick demo, what we're gonna do is just build a really simple application. The application in this case, I've got this, this spreadsheet, it's soccer season, right? And I wanna help uh, organize the, 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 the snack schedule. So each of this, I see each, each game I have right here, uh, which parent is responsible for it, and what they're going to bring. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this down and we wanna build an application that can write to that same spreadsheet. So to do that, what we wanna knock out is we wanna go ahead and build our first application. So I'm gonna start with data in this case. I've got my data set already built, ready to go, and I wanna go ahead and start with that next. I could, of course, most of the series here the next month, every single day we're gonna do one where we actually make an application from scratch. But in our case, we're going to build one from the data instead. So once I do that, it opens up the screen right here. Now I've already created the, the page itself, the, the data set, of sor data source itself in OneDrive for Business. It's an Excel cell source. So I did that so to spare you from actually watching me uh, build the data, uh, build the Excel spreadsheet and from actually making that connection. So let's go over to phone layout application. I have one data source right now. This one data source is actually using uh, uh, Pragmatic Works uh, uh, OneDrive. And here is my soccer schedule right here, this Panther snack, snack schedule. When I select this, it's going to ask me which table I want to select. Now this table is going to match the spreadsheet. Now you could of course change that spreadsheet to be whatever you wish. Uh, uh, the default name is table one, table two, and so on. But you can actually change that to whatever you wish inside of the Excel environment under the data tab. So inside this, I'll go ahead and select that table, hit connect, and what's going to happen right now is it's going to start to build the application for us. So it's doing all the mundane stuff. So that mundane stuff will be things like uh, creating of, of the, the read application, the insert application, the update one, and the details. So this is all the boring stuff that, that developers hate to do. Now, what it's not really good at is things like store procedures and doing those kind of things. This is mainly meant for building a quick applications as fast as possible. So it has built those screens now for me, and let's look at what it's done for me. So as we can see, it has uh, things like it's built a, a basic application. And to show, to show this, I can hit the play button in the top right. Now this is how we can preview the application outside of the actual player environment. So I can do things like sort, 
It looks like my sort may be a little funny right now. It's sorting by things like the, the, the names of the products versus the, actually the, the stuff I want to do. So I can change that, looks like. Uh, I can also do things like search. So if I search for uh, night, it will then pull back the Devon and night. Or if I search for orange, it will just pull the guy who brought the oranges in. Additionally, I can go and select each of these, like Terry Bradshaw here, and go ahead and see what he's bringing. I can hit the pencil icon to actually drill deeper into it, and say he's bringing something else instead. I can change that to, I don't know, uh, bananas. Okay, oh, and hit okay. So lots of easy things we can do inside this to make it a much, much easier environment. But let's go and see how we can actually make this a little bit better inside this. So let's go ahead and close this preview environment. And let's, of course, change the name of this, like uh, I'll call this the Panther uh, Snack Schedule. There we go. And I'll, I won't worry about the font right now. I won't build the prettiest applications this month, but at least they'll, they'll be functional. Uh, next, I want to make it where this actually doesn't show just bananas and terry. I want to see the date of the practice and change the order of this well. So you'll notice that when I select the white area here, on the left here, it is selecting browser gallery, uh, Browse Gallery 1. That's the name of our gallery. We'll, of course, focus on changing names of those in future webinars, but just want to kind of focus on this video, just the core, core basics. So if I were to select this, I can go and hop around, but if I select this, we'll see the query, uh, not a query, but the data source that's actually being tapped into here. So we can see it's tapping into Table 1. It's going to do a search based on what people are bringing and the parent. And it can also do some additional things in here, like uh, uh, what do I want to sort on? So do I want to sort on what they're bringing, or do I want to sort on the game day? So let's come back to that in just a second. But additionally, over here on the right, we can see table or subtitle. Now this is where we can change the layout of what's being shown. So let's change this layout now to be the title, subtitle, and body. But we can do things like pictures and all that in here as well. But let's let's focus on this one right now. So let's go now and select I want for the, my main title. I want to not focus on what they're bringing, but focus on who's bringing it. So I'll make that the parent. The subtitle will be the day of the practice, game. And then lastly, I'll put what they're bringing underneath that. All right, there we go. We can, of course, change the sizes and make these all sorts of different ways of stylizing it, but we'll, again, we'll not focus on that this time. Now, additionally, though, I want to change the sort of this. So when I pick the sort icon here, I want to change how this data sorted also. So when I select the gallery, and again, I'm going to hit, the, I'm going to hit this so I can get the name of the field here. It's a really odd field name, game, and the next. So that field name is quite odd. That field, that, that field name can be changed inside of Excel also, but that's just our default we have now. So I want to change it, what, that, what I'm sorting on. So you'll notice this, this is actually sort by columns, and you can see the open and close. There's open, open, close, and then right here, bringing is what's being, what's being a, a sorting on. So I'm going to change this to game underscore x0020 underscore day. And now we're going to sort by the day instead. Now, one of the tricks in Power Apps is if you hold down the Alt key, it will change how your data is uh, actually interacting with it. So rather than actually click on it and go in design mode, if I hold down the Alt key and click on it, it will actually interact with it like I was actually playing with the application live. So there's some weirdness in it, like right here, if I hit this right here and start typing, it, it can't do those kind of things, or not very easily at least. But uh, for doing simple clicks like refreshing and this and adding, it does a wonderful job. So we can see now I'm sorting by game schedule. I can hit the, hold, hold on the Alt key, hit the plus there, and I can add new ones now. Uh, of course, I hit the play button here, and it's going to change this as well. So I'll change this to Koki. Coco, and we'll just like it's cough. The kids are gonna bring, we're gonna wanna get the kids all wired up, so we're gonna pick coffee. And I'll make this a game that's in September. Oh, there we go. I'll do this, will be the October 6th game, for example. Hit OK. And oh, I hit the parent here. Sorry, the, 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 there we go. So this is me bringing coffee, and it'll be Dustin. I'll hit OK, and now you'll see it gets added to the spreadsheet also. This is a really, really simple application, and this application gets it can get a lot more interesting, of course. It's just a core, basic Excel spreadsheet. Our first application of the day we're going to be building on Tuesday, and every day in the month of September, every business day in the month of September, is brought to us by Melissa Steele from Joyce Meyer Ministries. So she wants us to build a uh, an application around timekeeping and tracking how many work items somebody's working on, and those kind of things. So that was the first recommendation. If you have a recommendation also, I'd love to hear from you. 
please do post in the comment section down below. And also please subscribe to this channel so we can go ahead and you can get the notices whenever these videos come out. So again, watch this channel uh, next week, uh, starting on Tuesday, about the same time. And we'll be posting a new video every day for the month of September on weekdays. Also, we have a Power Apps uh, class coming out uh, in the next week as well. It'll have all the introduction to Power Apps as well as we have an expert level Power Apps class as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing you uh, in future videos. Thanks so much.